Hello. <coughs> the plan uh, now we would see how to get a number as input from the keyboard. Okay. So using get character, get char, we saw how to get a character. Now I want to use get char to get a number from the user. Right. So let's start again. Uh, include stdio.edge main. Right. <coughs> so I'm going to write a function basically which uh, which gets a number from the user and uh, and returns it. Okay. So the number it's, a, it's an integer. Let's say it's an integer. Int uh, get num. Okay. Okay, so I'm, uh, I want to get a number from the user. So let me just ask for a number from the user. Uh, please input a number. Okay. Now I want to get a number. Uh, how am I going to do it? Uh, okay. First, let me try to get a character, right? I know how to get a character. So I am going to use uh, get a character, right? And I'm going to write, I'm going to get all characters till, till, till uh, an ender, right? And let me just print and see what uh, is the value. I'm going to do the following. Okay, let me first print uh, this thing. Character C is equal to percentage C comma C. And I'm going to call this. So we'll just see what is happening. Okay, and I'm going to return zero now. Okay, that's just for. Uh, and let go, let's call it. Now. Okay, I'm going to compile this and see. Okay. Right. So it compiled. So please enter a number. I. Okay. Ah, okay. I made I made one mistake. What is the mistake I made? Okay, so while c is not equal to n, I just printed the the string and I never got another character, right? So it's going to be in a, an infinite loop. That's I don't want that. So gcc get number dot cc slash dot out, right? Okay. Okay, so uh, we have got right. So let me just run this again to show how it works. Okay. So first character is 2, second character is 3, the fourth character is 4. Okay. Now, note that this is a character, not an integer. What we want is a, it's a, a, each of these characters is an integer. So let me re, let me try to print this as an integer. Okay. Uh, I, I take a value i here, so saying to 0. I am going to take i is equal to c. So basically, I convert the character value with the char so the character is stored in what is called as an ASCII code. Okay, ASCII code says small eight bit integers, okay. small numbers. ASCII code ranges from zero to two fifty six. So uh, each so a character is uh, used uh, stored as an integer, and now the integer value associated with the character I am going to print. I'm going to take it into i and then I print the associated value. So let me do that here now. Slash in uh, ASCII code for uh, the character is um, t comma c. Ah, I sorry. I can do that now. Now we can wait. let's compile. I can, let's compile this. Okay. Now I need to write a number. I, I mean, so we are I, uh, actually we are free to even enter letters now, and uh, I, we can see the ASCII codes for numbers as well as letters. So I will just type in uh, zero, for example. I will find out the ASCII code for zero, one, two. Okay. I can also look at the ASCII code for a, small a. What about capital A? Z capital Z plus etc. And let me just enter. Okay. So 
what is the for zero what is the ascii code for zero 48 for one ascii code is 49 250 okay so it's like 48 49 50 up to uh, 90 up, up till 9 okay so 57 and then for a for the character the letter a it is 60 97 for capital a it's 65 uh, there's 32 difference okay so 65 plus 32 is just 97 <coughs> and for z it is uh, 122 why is it 122 what do i know with uh, what is the difference between 122 and 97 25 so 26 letters from 9, 97 to 122 including both 97 and 122 26 letters in the alphabet uh, Similarly, 65 and uh, uh, 90 okay. for um, capital A and capital Z. And then for the for the character plus, I have the ASCII code 43. It's clear. So uh, each each character has an ASCII code. Okay. Now it's clear. So if <coughs> the ASCII code for zero is 48, and the ASCII code for the one is 49. If someone gives me the ASCII code 52. What is the number associated with it? It's clear, right? The number associated with it is 52 minus 48. Okay. So I can get it into a number. So I can let me just say I'm going to change i is equal to c minus the ASCII code for 0. Right? I'm going to print that again. Now I'm going to print the number. So, I'm going to print that number in, as an integer now and you should get the same as okay. see uh, for the character 1 the integer is 1, 2 it's 2, 3 it's 3, 4 is 4 right okay so now so you know now how to if uh, for a single digit character i know how to convert it into a number uh, what about i'm just adding a slash and then so that uh, things don't appear like this i i don't like that okay now <coughs> uh what do you do now I want to so if I if I get a string of numbers for example here it's 123 1 2 3 4 I want to take it as a number as an integer into the variable i I want to take i as 1 2 3 4 how do I do that what, what is the logic I'm going to use I'm going to first take this one right I'm going to first take this one so first when I see one my current number is one okay that I get by subtracting the ASCII code for 1 with the ASCII code for 0 so th that, that's my current value 1 current integer number is 1 then I see the character 2 right so when I see the character 2 what is my compiled number my compiled number is the first number into 10 so that is 1 into 10 plus 2 12 right then I get the number 3 uh, sorry then I get the letter the character 3 3 in quotes right so, and I get the character 3 in quotes what is it or uh, what is the uh, number I'm, I'm looking to uh, the, the combined number 1 2 3 then it will be the previous number 12 into 10 120 plus 3 okay this is the logic I'm going to uh, use and I'm going to use that to basically get this entire number I'm just going to forget this um, shall I comment this thing out I'm going to comment this thing and I'm going to have here okay. Okay. so what I'm what is it I'm going to I'm going to say i is equal to i into 10 plus So okay, so let me have I I will uh, I use two variables now. One is to keep the sum, and then there is this i. So my partial sum, sum let's call it is zero in the beginning. 
and I'm going to basically keep the sum. So what is my i? My i is equal to c minus so right that will give me the letter uh, that will give me the integer of the letter if the letter so let me write if letter is 5 then i if c is equal to 5 letter 5 then i is equal to the integer 5 this is a crucial thing you need to understand i, I think i will just remove this it's, it's just ugly okay now uh, we have that now what is my partial sum my partial sum is equal to sum into 10 plus i okay that's all that's all and I have my program here I'm going to return some okay so uh, please input a number I, I ideally I should add a uh, when you write you should add a command here it's a block statement better you add a command here and you put some tab here and I'm going to add a command here saying um, what is it what is it I'm going to add Right. when exiting the block sum will be the integer notation okay. integer notation right. will be the integer notation for the number entered so now i'm going to return sum Okay. Ideally, I should I should also uh, add some block of comments here, which says one. I have to write what the function does. What does the function do? The fun get num takes uh, takes number from the user and returns the input is done and output is okay. is that clear right. now this is clear i can i can get this number here some so let me just get this number. I'm going to put in this number. Okay, GCC get num. Please enter a number two three four five eight. Number is two three four five eight. Okay, so it's a number so now I can even use it uh, for some arithmetic operation okay. for example I can write uh, so the number is that and it's double is equal to percentage d and two times that number two times that number is equal to percentage d Two times that number is equal to four six nine zero. Is it good? Number is equal to two three four five and two times that number is two four six nine zero. Is that good? I think that looks good, right? Okay. Now uh, some writing style. See, when you have get num, which is supposed to take a number, I don't like a printf inside it. Because that's not the objective of that function. The objective of the function is just to get a number from the user and output it. Okay, that's how I see it. But uh, if you see it differently, you could have had the printf. I wouldn't want the printf there. 
my writing style would be that I first uh, first uh, I mean uh, the functions objective is to get number from the user and return it that's that's what I have mentioned here right if the objective was also to print the string uh, asking for a number I would have ideally wanted that also to be here written in the comments okay since i didn't write i am going to take it out down here and i'm going to compile it uh, it this will run but i would want to this one's uh, another thing which I, I don't like which is you know what that is that is this integer num has to be declared earlier that's again the style i would prefer and okay right now this is good uh, but what happens the user can could have uh, as a user I could have entered some number I could have entered some letter oh sorry I just compiled let me just run I could have entered some letter here right this is not this is some something right this is some prop, like, totally random i mean actually it's not random but uh, because we have given a precise algorithm to get this number right and that algorithm is basically take the character by take the ascii code for the letter a subtract it with ascii code for 0 which is 48 so minus 48 and then you do into 10 and plus this thing is this one and we are right uh, that that that's the precise algorithm we have done but this is not this is not good right this is not good in the sense that, that it's not a get number so in that case i would have wanted what is it you would want it in that case i would have preferred I would have preferred checking this thing and returning to you an error from the function or just call this function again get another number from the user I don't know so uh, so let me just try to return an error if that's what I want how, how do you want an error I just check here if if c is equal to uh, how do I write it right so you would want to write if C okay, now this is good right so there's a better way to write right so when I is equal to C minus 0 I has to be either 0 in one end or 9 in the other end right so I can only be between that so if anything else that's wrong so I am going to write if I is less than 0 right or i is greater than 9 now we come but uh, it's better to properly bracket let's properly bracket this if this is the case what should i do i have to get out of this while loop okay i'm going to first assign let me just start i'm going to assign the sum is equal to minus 1 a negative number okay i'm going to return that as a negative number okay so uh, two ways to resolve this one way is that i just return minus one and when it returns there i know i just return from there so whenever as soon as you catch something uh, uh like this it returns a minus one okay so so uh so now let me see i compile and i write okay so number is minus one and uh, two times it's minus two uh, but i should check here whether it's minus one and then uh, do the needful Okay, that's one way to do but there's one mistake still i haven't fixed it properly right so let me just do i put an enter when i just entered i got zero means i didn't uh, do anything i just had an enter why 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 did that happen because my sum is zero here 
and when I press and enter right now C is uh, slash n and it did not go inside and it comes here and returns okay so that's not good right so so if C itself in the beginning itself it's uh, slash n that's not good I don't want that right uh, I wouldn't want that so I will basically I have to fix this now uh, how do I fix it I can write uh, so uh, the one way to do is that I put a minus one here okay or uh, if I put a minus one here and then it becomes return minus it does not go inside and come so if C is uh, if it's an enter and C is slash in it, it just comes here goes out and returns minus one that's one way to fix it but that has a problem what is that problem it goes inside uh, there and then sum into minus 1 into 10 it becomes minus 10 and plus i and then it screws up everything it, it, it is bad but in that computation you would require uh, sum is equal to 0 so I, I should have something like if if sum is equal to equal to minus 1 then sum is equal to 0 okay because if you had seen it's minus 1 you should make it 0 this is one way you can fix this thing okay then uh, this is one way you can write uh, a function to get uh, an integer okay so uh, it's good and now similarly you can write a function to get a, a string if you if, uh, if you how will you write a function to get a string now to get a string you should add let's say I, I am going to get a string uh, int get string right to get a string what I'm going to do is the following and uh, to get a string in the main function we have to use an external array okay so I'm going to have str of some max size okay and I'm going to do the same thing here uh, character c is equal to get cap and I'm going to say while c not equal to slash n, uh, c is equal to um, just had str of i is equal to c and c is equal to and then I'm going to add an i Uh, this is one way to do this and I'm going to return the size of the string there uh, But you need to add one more thing you need to add also the fact that the last letter is zero right? uh, To show that the string has end you should add that thing and now you have to define this max size here as define let me say it's 30 now I can now call that string and I can print that so get string um, right. okay now let me just do that also. so first you are supposed to enter a number okay now you are supposed to enter a string and i'm going to enter the string asdf and the string is asdf okay i could have had here could have added a statement there saying print of slash n uh, input string okay. first number ASDF, ASF, good. Okay, so this way you can get a string also. So we now know how to uh, get an integer and a string. That's good. Okay. Thank you.